All right, time to look at this Leela game now. Right, so this was a this was a great game actually. The, um, I have to say, um, um, in a number of these uh, pairs of games, there are some some absolute classics. And actually, the, um, uh, the 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 game where Stockfish was white and Leela was black was uh, the opening was absolutely fantastic as well. But I really love this game, and um, well, I think you'll see why um, um, it really struck me so much that this was so similar to um uh to to the alpha zero stockfish game that we've just seen so this was all specified by the book um it's uh, quite an old gambit the slav gambit um uh, in the 1950s it was very very popular uh, fm geller great russian player played this uh, a number of times and uh although he's most famous i think for the games that he lost in this uh, in this variation but uh, um bish b2 um, they they often played uh, a takes b5 in the old days but uh, bishop, bishop b2 has been played and this was the last game of the book and um well we've been talking about rook's pawns so um <laughs> you've got a you've got a choice already got the queen's rook's pawn <laughs> we've got the queen's rook's pawn going there so uh another one came in that'll be the king's rook's pawn that'll be the king's <laughs> rook's pawn <laughs> so h4 um it's a very nice idea actually i mean um um, and again, you know, it's very, it's very typical of, um, of of Leela's play and also of Alpha Zero's play as well. You've got a pawn on e5 that's uh, you know driven away a knight from f6, and then you just try and uh, well consolidate your grip on um, on on a color complex, you know, just by 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 moving uh, the pawn up to h6. Um, so bishop b7, h5 came in, knight d7, h6. Nah, no uh, no messing around there. And after g6, knight e4. So I mean, white's still a still a pawn down here, and uh, and black's doing uh, doing fine. I mean, black's pretty well developed, but obviously you can see that the dark squares that's going to be a major, you know, a major battlefield in the in the coming moves. Um, the lovely thing that happens now is that uh, castles castles, and then Stockfish plays this move knight five b six. So um, attacking the pawn on a four, and so really trying to force a decision from um, from. Uh, from black is from white it's a very confrontational move it's kind of provoking a5 isn't it it's it's provoking a5 um but of course the idea then is that um once um white's played a5 there's no longer any pressure on the b5 pawn so that should make c6 to c5 let's see do i know how to do that yes i've got the uh, the arrows now <laughs> c6 to c5 becomes a lot more uh, a lot more simple however um uh Leela, very similar to Alpha Zero, just takes um, a rather a rather different approach, and plays this move a6. So attacking the bishop, forcing it back, it's and like, then rookie one. That's like the <laughs> game we just saw. That's just <laughs> like the game we saw. I mean, just uh, moving a pawn there, forcing black to undevelop, and then rookie one is looking to uh, to start to to bring pieces uh, you know towards the king side. Because actually, you wouldn't think a6 would be a good move necessarily no no it's it's disruptive it's amazing I, i've actually i actually played this gambit as white in uh, some over the board chess oh right and quite often i find the problem of black plays c5 and your center gets disintegrated can sometimes be really weak with the c5 later from black and this idea of not having open lines just the clamping on the dark squares that you mentioned is really interesting think, yeah it? yeah i mean it's it's, it's 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 very very unusual this i mean it really is uh it really is a a great concept and the idea as well is that you know with a bishop on c8 um c6 to c5 from black is going to be much less strong because the bishop hasn't got a good diagonal mm. so um and it's double thorn pawns indeed uh, you've used <laughs> yes, it yeah. pawns. you've used it and you've used t-shirt by the way yeah yes. the t-shirts are the t-shirts is, <laughs> is there really a t-shirt yeah, yeah it's, yes. it's my top seller <laughs> i should start wearing the, t the mine t-shirt i'm gonna look at this t-shirt i'm definitely gonna look at this t-shirt <laughs> so stockfish played f5 to um uh well just to try and give itself a bit of room on the uh on the king side and actually we get into something that's Actually, very, it was very typical again of the uh, of the Alpha Zero games against uh, against uh, Stockfish. Um, you get these um, uh, these types of positions where, um, 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 well, Leela then is attacking on on squares of a certain colour, um, and um, and actually not really worrying about the number of pawns it sheds along the way, um, but just getting more and more open lines. Whereas, of course, Stockfish is defending like a, an, an absolute monster mm -hmm. and uh, taking the pawns, not losing, but you know, under very heavy pressure. And um, um, what, 
it was really really very very nice here so rook takes f6 bishop d2 rook f7 rook a3 again uh, uh, quite similar to this mm. alpha zero game you know this a pawn has been moved forward and that just gives um, um a chance for the rook to activate itself laterally yeah. across to the king's side the line, rook, a2, rook a2, a2 to, to f2 yeah no that's mm. right i mean um, in actual fact, what you do see with um, with uh, a lot with Alpha Zero's plan, I, I think it's exactly the same with Leela, is that you know you, the fact that you're giving away these pawns, mm. it gives your pieces so much more freedom. You know, it's, mm. you don't need those pawns really. It's um, I mean, it just reminds me of um, I once I played a game against Julian Hodgson once when I was very young, and at some stage he, he was he was uh, black in a Benko gambit, and he let me play Bishop C3 takes his rook on H8. Mm. Um, and um, um, so I, I asked him about it afterwards and he said well once you've taken my rook my king side was developed I didn't <laughs> need to develop any more pieces you know which uh, has always struck me somehow it's, it's a similar sort of principle really you know if I'm giving away all my pawns I don't need to, to worry about them anymore so rook f3 again a, a very nice mm. not an obvious move Swapping at all off. yeah I mean you, you think that rook's coming over to g3 but no whilst black's rook is busy mm -hmm. on the queen side we're going to swap off the, the, the defensive piece on the king side very uh, very very nice <laughs> and bishop g4 and um yeah i mean looking at this position i mean black's two pawns up but you know what breaks does black have i mean c5 yeah i mean uh it's just, just going to get taken e5 is obviously not going to happen why is just going to sit on that position mm -hmm. and um and 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 grind forever you know and um uh and you know the only reason that uh that uh that it's sort of um uh it doesn't collapse is because stockfish is so amazing you know i mean that's the uh, that's the interesting thing i think there's there's one more moment that's um, that's really interesting i mean uh, they play around uh, on the dark squares um bishop g5 can't be taken because mm. of, uh, of bishop takes e6 which is quite nice and um you see um you know L leela encroaching you know on those dark squares but somehow you know um, stockfish keeps on finding all these um these little ideas just to uh uh, to break things open i think queen c5 queen c7 was the idea mm -hmm. so um i think this was the idea it's always slightly mysterious why uh but i think then the 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 the, the, the queen would be offside uh it would have to go back to a3 if you want to keep the queens on mm -hmm. so um um so actually um one of these uh amazing things where uh um um, you often see with Alpha Zero as well. You know, just just give away the pawn. Don't worry about it because <laughs> you've got your um, you've got your opposite coloured bishops, and uh, and indeed um, on this square, Bishop to D8, teasing a little bit, coming round here, which is uh, very very sweet. If Rook takes A5, we're going Queen B8 check, <laughs> and then um, once this Bishop on B7, stopping yeah. the King going to G7. Exactly. I mean, it's um, so um, you know, Stockfish hangs in there with with Rook 8, and then we get this swap with these Ooh. uh with these uh with these bishops mm -hmm. and um again i mean look how many pawns down uh white is i mean white's got one two three four black's got uh one two three four five six seven pawns it's just three pawns <laughs> and yet you know <laughs> that uh, the only one pressing for a win is white <laughs> um now i mean uh uh stockfish you know holds it um uh, but there was one very interesting point here um that um uh what we often saw in the um, in the Alpha Zero Stockfish games was that um, Stockfish was managing to set up some sort of fortress, you could say. Mm. You know, it's not 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 a fortress in 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 the in the normal sense, but just hanging in there with its pieces. And you think, well, how on earth can anyone break through that? He's just mm. hanging on his light squares, you know, and uh, and mm. keeping the the pieces at bay. Mm. And what there, what you often saw was an exchange sacrifice, an exchange sacrifice to break through and open uh, open up the position and uh, actually Leela does exactly the same thing you know just mm -hmm. uh, this this uh, exchange sacrifice and all of a sudden you've cleared the king's side you've still got those uh, those those terrible dark squares but now you've also got a past h pawn i mean that that pawn that you've moved forward mm -hmm. turns out to be great in the ending mm -hmm. now i mean the game goes on for about 240 moves so probably now is not a bad, <laughs> a bad time to uh, <laughs> to stop but, i mean in, in general it's uh, it's it's an equal position but of course in terms of you know who is pressing for the win and who's under huge pressure there's no doubt that black's the one who's got to uh, to show some amazing defense to hold it mm -hmm. but i mean i love that um you know that idea i mean I, I, anyway i love that idea of moving both both rooks pawns but just the the you know the, the the parallel with that game of alpha zeros that you're um you're throwing forward a pawn on the queen side it's 
costing black lots of time it's a pawn that you're losing but then you're you're um you know you're moving on to the uh, to the king side that's uh, it's, it's really quite quite striking and then you know that that typical thing about opposite colored bishops doesn't matter how many pawns down you are just that activity in the uh, in the middle game is huge and then of course this uh, little idea of sacrificing the exchange to try and uh, to try and break through to try and break through a, a stockfish fortress you know really nice themes and uh, I mean, I loved. I, I had a great time watching this game. I really loved uh, watching it. Just like you know, the whole championships was very, very exciting. Yes, it was it was so a, close, and sometimes yeah, Lilo was ahead, and yeah. sometimes Stockfish was ahead. It yeah, was it was brilliant. Really I, good I, match. I petitioned for it to be featured on Reddit. Eventually, yeah, Reddit got involved. I was really happy. Everyone's really into it more than yeah. even the World Chess Championship. This, yeah, this yeah. recent uh, match, and it, it was only by one point that Lilo lost from the deep. Uh, openings and yeah, it was. I think it was a great credit to the whole leader project that it yeah. did so well in yeah. that from those deep openings. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I, I think it was. Uh, I mean, really, in terms of uh, of matches, I, I mean, I saw a Twitter from um, a tweet from uh, Rajabov saying, "Wow, what a match!" You know, and when you think, "Wow," you know, these these world class players, they're also uh, mm. you know really thrilled about it. I saw you know mm. tweets from from Peter Heine and Nielsen as well. You know, mm. people were really getting into the to the whole match, and uh, you know, I think that's. Uh, it's probably, you know, part of it is just that beautiful clash of styles, you know, mm, this yeah. uh, massive calculator stockfish against, yeah. uh, you know, Leela with a strategical skill, you know, really wonderful. I, I think also technology is favouring Leela at the moment. The graphics cards for AI generally are improving at a rapid mm. pace, yeah. becoming yeah. cheaper and more powerful. That's, that's yeah. helping. Yeah. But, yeah, it's it's wonderful that this quite an old concept, the self-learning neural network. There's the technology which has enabled it, but it's a large number of years ago. It's not a new idea and concept, mm. self-learning. But only now yeah. it's actually managed yeah. to really work. Yeah, that's, that's quite amazing as well, how yeah, sometimes it's old technology. Um, yeah. No, it's, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, the TCC was uh, was uh, was uh, was really really great, and it was also interesting to see the um, um, the the match afterwards. You know, with this, um, it was twelve minutes and three seconds, and uh, yes. from the starting position. I mean, that yeah. was that was also very interesting. I'm uh, absolutely craving to get some time to cover those games. They're absolutely amazing games. It, the, 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 yeah, yeah. And at the time of Alpha Zero, it, it for me it revitalised the whole channel. I was getting a bit, maybe a little bit bored by some of the over the ball games when i saw the uh, original the alpha zero mm. games i was blown away it was like science fiction chess yeah and then yeah. people were saying i i lose all my pawns in my blitz and it's totally yeah. justified now you can <laughs> lose a pawn and you go all i needed to say, all I needed to say was, was all well, i've got the bishop here yeah. Yeah, I, I just needed a reason i think <laughs> I, I, I can justify losing all my pawns <laughs> <laughs> But that was uh, yeah. I mean, it was it was uh, it was it was very very impressive to see that uh, to see that result with uh, you know starting from the uh, the normal ball position. That was really good. That's uh... okay. Uh, I think um, actually, let's do a new instalment in a, in a moment. Uh, I'm going to ask you about the Alpha Zero book now. Uh, so in our next instalment. But thank you again. Fantastic analysis and insights there. And okay, until our next little instalment in a moment. <laughs> <laughs>